Hello and welcome back to your weekly dose of encouragement and learning and relearning how to navigate life as a woman, a mother, a parent. It's Bump Love and we are so excited to have you on the show. Oh, thank you very thank much. You. Thank, yeah. you. thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I saw it hanging and I was like, mm, come here. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it was calling me. <laughs> so we appreciate you. We appreciate your feedback, you guys. Yeah. Do you know that every time an episode is up and we see all of your comments and how you're waiting for the show and you tell us what you think, give us your experiences, we really love you for that. And so if you're new here, consider subscribing, liking and sharing this episode. Make sure to hit that notification bell so you know when we have new content up. Yeah. Before we go any further, a big shout out to our partners, fashion episode. Yes. And Shades of Beauty for our face bit, Shoe Puzzle for our shoes, and Zuri Luxury Hair for the amazing hair you see over here. Yeah? Um, we appreciate you for standing by us and ensuring that week in, week out, we look our very best. Yes. So ladies, welcome to the show. Thank you. We are going to be talking about conflict yeah. and how it is inevitable in every relationship. But today we want to focus on conflict in romantic relationships. All right. I think you see where I'm going with this. All right. <laughs> so I want to start by asking, do you feel like the way you were raised um, impacts how you respond and navigate conflict? So speak about the way you were raised and of course your personality as well. I, I barely saw conflict between my mom and my dad. So to be honest, I feel like it affected me because I didn't know what to do what with myself. Do yes. um, I never saw them fight. Um, in fact, their separation was like a shocker. Yeah. Uh, but even when you speak to my mom, she says it, has, it wasn't your dad, you know? Mm -hmm. So you can tell that they would come in, do the, if they had a fight, they would come in, go to the balcony, sit, drink, then leave as if quietly yes. they would pass behind and say good night kids mm. good night daddy good night mommy Shoo, go to bed yeah. so i never saw i never saw i never saw conflict and so especially in romantic relationships mm. no all i had was tv as a guide as a, and i've always told you guys from where it's coming to. <laughs> yeah, it was tv and romance Post novels, novels. And so I figured that, you know, the way, the way you fight, eh? yeah, it's always, it always ends in passion. Mm. And then he tears your clothes oh, no. and then he <laughs> makes sweet love to you. Oh, Lord. So, <laughs> <laughs> when I wasn't feeling like being made love to because I'm upset, mm. no. no, 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 I, so I, I feel, honestly, I really, yeah, I really... How, how does your personality inform... Of course, no, oh no, when we talk, when we continue ah, this conversation, I'll okay. tell you how then, that what road um, and what advised how I fight then became mm. my personality. But yeah, but, which is, which is never always right. Yeah. <laughs> I also didn't really see my parents fight, but I saw them, I saw the fight start. Like you can tell when, you see when we are here and Mr. and Mrs. Molondo have get into it and you see that, hey, they realize to Limbantu, then they kakana. So that's, where, that's what I used to see, you know. So I'd always see that happen and it was always my father that would snap, snap you know, would, would decide that now we're not saying anything anymore, let's talk. And that thing is to irritate me. Yeah, because I always felt that my mom was hushed. Like, I would see that thing start, and then there's a, like a build-up, and then it was not a, it, it was an unpretty end. Uh, end, like, either walk away, or yeah. I'm not having this, or when I'm not, you know, wearing this conversation, yeah. you know, something like that. Uh -huh. So I never saw anything else after. We didn't see, before we knew it, things were back to normal. Yeah. So I never saw, like, the, the resolution. Yeah. I never saw what happened. I don't never ever knew if they ever came back to talk about it. Yeah. So that thing used to really irritate me, and I feel, I felt like, in going forward as I grew up, I always swore that I will be hard. Yes. I will never be hushed yes. in no any side of conflict. So I don't know. So these are things that I'm learning late. So that's what I'm not sure of. So because yeah. my dad used to have a temper, oh. like a real temper temper. Okay. 
mm. bad temper, like the type of when we're in the car and something just happens, so, so uh, something on the road, someone does something, and then now he's out of the car and he's, uh, you know, yeah. assuring the other person. Yeah. And that thing used to, it used to make me feel a certain type of way. Yeah. So mm. I felt like what I saw, I, I didn't like. Mm. So even me, like, I don't, I will not count, like, um, I, I, I want, I, I'm not cowering, one, and then I'm also not, like, uh, calling you out mm. in public. Oh, yeah. You know, like I'm not, I'm confronting you if you do something. Yes. I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, because I'm not afraid of confrontation yeah. at all. So we are having that conversation. Mm. But it's not, I, I try not to do it in a, like in a public and an angry way mm. to mm. people escalate. to yes. escalate it. Yeah. Yeah. Because that's what I saw. And when my, because I know my personality that I can confront and I am not uh, cowering under, no one is hushing me at all. Yeah. And I'm expressive, I'm loud. I know that I will find myself in these situations much more than, than calmer people yeah. or more silent people. So I've had some training because, yeah. because the yeah. occurrences have been there. Yeah. <laughs> so through the occurrences, I've had some training yeah. and found myself, you know, trying to argue better. Yeah. And oh. so I know what, I fight know fair. what to, I know the points. No, I, not, not necessarily fight fair. <laughs> because I have training, I can yeah. do, I do I one of two things. <laughs> I can fight unfair because I know the results. Yeah, yeah. Yes, and sometimes I'm like, I just want to be petty, and you're going to f feel what I'm saying, yeah, so yeah. I'll say something or do something. Yeah. But for the better part, yeah. I, I try to fight fair because okay. I want the end result to be some change, yeah. Yeah. you know. Yeah. 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 I'm, I, would, I would want to go after Pumla because we are the complete opposite. <laughs> I am very non-confrontational. <laughs> And it didn't help that even growing up, I never saw my parents fighting. Oh, really? Never, mm. ever, ever, ever. But also, I know I take on my mom's personality more predominantly over my dad's. So my mm. dad is my dad is confrontational. He will he will he will tell you stuff. He's, Although he's like a people person, so I think he would stern. yes, he would try and bring back or make amends because I think he enjoyed fellowship and enjoyed people. Yeah. But I I think I kind of saw that. Like when, we, when something happened and maybe say my mom would step in, like if something has happened with the kids. Yeah. My dad used to do this thing where he was so big on like spiritual growth. Mm -hmm. So he would, not, he would not play when it comes to those things. Like you can have a dirty house and blah, 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 but like if you're not, not read your Bible. Bible. So there was a time, yes, <laughs> there was a time. Uh, he'd given us instructions and he'd be like, you need to read your Bible in the morning and then in the evening you, you say what you have read, you share. Mm -hmm. Now my sister, my little sister, <laughs> had not read. Uh -huh. Yeah. So my father started with her. Oh no. You know it would have helped, yes. It would have helped like if he had gone through. Maybe Everybody the then she her. can pick up her point. Then she can pick up her point. <laughs> but he's like, oh, let's, Sarah, let's start with you. You guys panicked. Her eyes were like, Daddy, I didn't read. He said, go to bed. This is now, because prayers used to happen before dinner. Mm -hmm. So he said, go to bed. Now, it without would be, dinner. without dinner, yes. It would be in issues like that where like my mom now is thinking, oh, that's a bit unfair. Let me yeah. try and step in. So she maybe say a coward. Mm -hmm. And then you'd see my dad's, you're, you're, you're speaking. You people need to learn. Now he'd start the lecture there. So it's almost like he's rebattling my mom. But on you guys. But on us. <laughs> Yes, I would also see that cut dance of, yeah, he's still the head of the household and he would put in his coward as, I am the husband. So there would be like a, like a contention there, but it would be hushed, just like your, your dad, like, we're not going to finish this year. So I never really saw tension between my parents. And then it doesn't help that I am extremely non-confrontational. But I feel like also it has been informed by a lot of the experiences in my life. I was thrown into the limelight. <laughs> I picked the wrong profession. <laughs> <laughs> the profession that requires that you're out there out and talking there. to people. Love you from right? Yeah. <laughs> and it took me a while to develop thick skin. Yeah. yeah because I, I came from those homes where it's like everybody's nice. When yeah, you're nice to people, love. people will be Kumbaya. nice to you. <laughs> Someone's praising Lord. Social media. Oh my God. <laughs> Hey, the streets are rough. They are rough. And so I used to hear this thing develop thick skin, thick skin. I'm like, what is what that? that? Just yeah, I'm just be nice being to nice to people. To people. Yeah. Why aren't you nice to me? Wow. Right? Yeah. <laughs> I barely saw my parents fight up to until I think I was 15. 
that's the first time mm. I saw like real tension. I don't know what had happened, but for a very long time they would really hide. I think they did a very, I must commend them for doing a very good job of hiding, hiding <laughs> you know, fights. <laughs> like we would barely see it. I'm sure yeah. it would happen in their bedroom, but I, I don't remember seeing any strife yeah. or, you know, going out of control while we were there until I was about 15. Mm. I think that was about HSC when i don't know what it was eh? but my mom was on fire yeah. i remember her coming out of that bedroom and for the first time she's like this guy is joking with me mm. eh? your dad is really joking with me she didn't say much mm. but it was really serious and then he also came out boiling mm. i'm like ah, what is happening mm. so that's the first time i i i saw that happening my mom was you, you, you don't squeeze her. You don't. Hey. She was also very confrontational. And I think I take over her. Like, I could chill you and chill you. But <laughs> when you cross the line, I'm like, no. Yeah. This is not happening again. Yeah. So yeah. I comfort you. Um, I think that's what I remember yeah. growing up. Yeah. 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 Wow. Um, in my case, one, <clears throat> a lot of the certain things that affected how conflicts were raised or handled in, in our family. One, the fact that we did not live at home, like in Uganda, mm -hmm. made it very difficult for you to fight for we a long have time. Each other. We only have each other. Oh, wow. I've noticed a lot of couples who struggle when they live here, when either one of them is taken out of the country and the family has to grow, there is a togetherness that comes because mm -hmm. It's just you and I. You have no one else. Then, um, unlike the rest of you guys, I grew up all my life seeing my parents having disagreements. Mm. And yet, I come at the tail end, usually by then, they've learned how to control things. Mm. The first, the second, maybe those ones could have seen. But by the time we, I, I could understand, my parents have always had disagreements. Mm. They disagree about Everything. Everything every That's day. Shocking. Every day. Wow. Papa, you haven't taken your medicine. When you were drinking your Mountain Dew, did I tell you anything oh. about it? <laughs> then I'm not going to make you coffee. If you haven't taken your medicine, I'm not making the coffee. And if you don't take your medicine at 7, I can only make your coffee at 9 o'clock. Wow. The problem is that for you, you think you're very intelligent. Doesn't oh, the medicine wow. enter my stomach? It's going to enter my yeah. stomach. Then we're like, you know what, guys, now... And this, as they grow older, now they would, in the, when we were younger, it would be like, Papa, take your medicine. Yeah. But now as... Yeah. But these are the kind of conversations my pa So right now, so when we're saying growing up, yes, we were, I didn't see that. But right now, yes, that's, what th that's exactly what I see. Uh -huh. Exa what you've said, Saved. every time I'm in Buloba, is Bikari. exactly what I see. Yeah. The whole day. Ah. <laughs> From a <laughs> breakfast, because you're an evening child, that's yeah. what you saw. That's what I saw. Yeah, but from you. from the way my older siblings, mm. it's like, I think that was their car dance. Oh. And when I asked the daddies, I'm like, people always say you guys are so happily married. Everyone comes to yeah. them for thingy. Yeah. And you know what Dad said? I quarrel with Ma Nalongo every day. Small, small. Mm. We never get the big ones ah. because we have released the all the small, small ones. So the small mm. ones that build to big ones yeah. never they occur. Become, uh, so for me, I grew up in a home. If you're unhappy, you say so, and we speak about it and we shelve it. Oh, wow. Yeah. You know, conflict comes from triggers. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Do you guys know, like, your triggers? Oh, yes. Which one? <laughs> <laughs> What's yours? <laughs> tell What's us, tell yours? us. Ah. Mine, <clears throat> I think, at the very top, is someone who tries to belittle my competence. Mm. Maybe you're not a good mother. You. Maybe you're not a good friend. No, you're you not. are bold. Boom, la. Yeah. Hey. And I'm like, ah. Mm, they yeah. can suck a comment. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. they catch you when it's, it seems right. Exactly. Like they did, your child didn't do what? Mm. My mother's. Are you like, please? Not today. <laughs> Not today. Not today. Uh, no. <laughs> and most people say that the things that trigger, in fact, I, 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 I decided I was like, trigger or hook? Because a trigger is like, mm. yeah. it goes. Okay. But a hook is something that you can hook 
or unhook. Unhook yourself, mm. yes. That's why I said, it's a hook for me because it will get me. But then after I sit, I'm like, nah, nah. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah. I'm a good yeah. man. But with a trigger, you we go. are ready to shoot. Yeah. Bullet is in and locked. And it's, yes. Yeah, for me, yeah, that would be it. <laughs> Mine's dishonesty. Yeah. And given, the second one was that one, but yeah. yeah. I feel that it is the one vice for me. First of all, it cut that one for as long as I can sense the dishonesty. Mm. Yeah. Regardless of whether I'm right or wrong mm. that you are being, you may be saying that, but as long as I sense dishonesty, dishonesty. I'm triggered. Yeah. Mm. I feel like it is the one vice that even when all is said and done, I can forgive many things, yeah. but that is the one thing dishonesty has always been my biggest Pet struggle. Yeah. It's, the, it's one flaw in people that I find myself failing to get over. Yeah. Like, it, for me, it's just, it, it's a foundation. Like, honesty for me is like a real foundation of trust, yeah. of any kind of relationship, any kind. Yeah. Even from the smallest fiber where we are not even close. Yeah. But as long as I sense some kind of dishonesty, I'm the type of person, like, I'm, me, I'm a ride or die friend or partner. Yeah. Yeah. So even if you come to me and you tell me, by the way, Pumla, that guy, the truth is, I'm the one who shot him. Yes. We will amber the body with you. Yeah. I'm, I'm, help, I'm digging the grave right. in my backyard. Right. I'm not that ride or die who doesn't ask questions, who asks after. No. Right. I'm shoving, I'm digging, but we're, we're, we're having a conversation. Yeah. Yeah. We're yeah. talking about it. By the time we've covered, now we're going to deal with police. Yes. But if you're lying to me as I am ah. shoving, ah. oh, I find out after the fact That's from true. police or from news, that you lie. That you deal with your shit. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, deal with your shit. Honesty, and honesty. I mean, dishonesty also includes omission. That's true. For me, oh. if you're not telling me something, yeah. you're lying. Yeah. yeah. If I you're see. you're hiding, like hiding the truth, yeah. for me is dishonest. I've I've struggled with dishonesty. I everything else I found that I can navigate, maneuver, forgive, move on. Mm. But dishonest, I can think remains, and it's the one thing that has always made me like has severed my relationships. Mm. Like if I sing a relationship, it has been cut. Yeah. It's only because I've failed to get over. Yeah. Get past. Yeah. I'm working and on it, but it's not work going very well. <laughs> very well. Yeah. It, if well. anything, I'm not doing well. If anything, <laughs> it shouldn't. The zero you have. <laughs> hmm? If anything, yeah. it shouldn't. Because the second you let dishonesty into your life, yeah. that is the beginning and ending of everything uh, unreal. So you never know if someone is telling you the truth that or not. That is exactly not. what yeah. my struggle you is. You can't. Exactly. So um, remember when I said competence and why I say it hooks? Mm. Because we are speaking about romantic relationships. Right. Yeah. So the person who's mentioning this is most yeah. likely either your spouse oh, yes. or, you know, so it, it yeah. really cuts much deeper yeah. than if it's coming from an yeah. outsider. Yeah. yeah. So I think for me, my trigger is not being hard. Yeah. When I get the sense that you are more interested in defending yourself and your position and not making an effort to hear me and where I'm coming from, however nonsensical it sounds, yes. it really, really triggers me. It re like it drives me mad. I, actually, it doesn't, it doesn't upset me. It, it hurts me. Yeah. I think that's it. Yeah, it hurts me. I think for me, my fights are more come more from a place of heart than being upset, yeah. And so I find that if, if someone is more, and I guess we're talking about romantic relationships in this case, like my husband, if I go to him with a thing, interestingly, I'm non-confrontational, but I'm usually the one who initiates conflict resolution in my marriage. <laughs> yes, because I guess this relationship is very important to me. And my husband, on the other hand, is he's cool, if we talk about it, we talk about it. But if we can delay it, I guess like we most can. men, <laughs> <laughs> they want and, peace. And if, and if, 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 if we, we can get over it, it's yeah, yeah, even better. better. The better. Yeah, but yeah. But I'm not about that life. We must have this conversation. Yeah. So I will more likely initiate those conversations. Oh. But I found that early on in my marriage, I used to, I used to just tell him, I just need you to hear me, because my husband has English. Mm. So I would go to those that men. Thing. They have English. Imagine the English queen. Oh, now, with the husband. With that accent. <laughs> with that <laughs> accent. <laughs> men would confuse <laughs> me with English, <laughs> and I'd be like, w w w ho "Hold up! I'm How going to get to you yeah. with an right. issue. Like, how have things flipped? And now I'm the perpetrator." And, and somehow you are the, the victim. <laughs> yeah. 
How did this happen? You know, and so I, I, I zeroed it down to, I don't think you're hearing me. Yeah. You have this, as I'm speaking, you're conjuring up words in your mind and a response, and you're not really listening to what I'm saying. And your response suits you to wrap this conversation up as quickly as possible. Yeah. So for me, not being hard just sends me off the rails. Yeah. yeah. I, I have a certain car. I'm like her. Uh, mm. talk about this honestly. There's a part of me that gets that's triggered like, by that. Yeah. And it's not like you're saying that you, you have to accept what I'm no, saying. No, no, no. Just, yeah, just hear, hear me. me. Yeah. And acknowledge. And yes. acknowledge. Yes. We don't have to agree. Yes. yes. But just, uh, so when you don't acknowledge, uh, what do uh, you uh, uh, say? Uh, uh, that's one of mm. my... So when you guys, when I saw this question, I'm like, why? I, mean, I have many... <laughs> We are here. Now, her number one. They want to our shows. We are here. Number one. So I thought to myself, I said, what is it? Like, I searched deep and I searched low. And I said, but which one? Kale, that one triggers me. Okay. Mm, but which but one is it which, which is I heavier? don't give? Like she said, a bullet will come out. Mm. Come yes. what May. Yes. Come what June. Yes. Is when I feel unfairness. Ah, yeah. when you sense mm. <laughs> unfairness. Mm. 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 Isn't is that, is that um, relationships? Like, it's not mm. always fair. It's not always fair. Rarely fair. fair. So Rarely fair. fair. Rarely fair. But you see, that shows you how, how much, much yes. I get triggered. Yes. Yes. I just don't okay. understand how can I give you grace mm. and you can't extend that the same grace me, i don't know what to, i don't mm. know what to do something i can i can deal with others mm. because when you're like for example how dishonest i can call you out i'm cool with calling you out i'm like you're you lied dishonest, that's yeah. the end of this relationship mm. i'm sorry yeah. you know and mm. yeah but with this your husband one, yeah i'm just like you can't we can't have been speaking you spoke mm -hmm. and then like, you don't, I i'm had. coming for you Mm. I am coming for you, you know, if, if yes, so, of recent we've been having like a car argument and it's a toilet argument. <laughs> They're usually about toilet. the funniest so thing. stupid, most stupid thing. Tell it's us. It's like a toilet argument. I wish I could get into the nooks and crunches yeah. of it, but <laughs> leave me alone. <laughs> Let's be vulnerable. <laughs> no, leave me alone for me. <laughs> Moving on. It's a, it's a, it's a toilet, toilet argument. Mm -hmm. So, Brian, I felt that for the 10 years that we've been, 10, 11, 12 years, I've never asked him to lift the toilet seat because mm. he's, he's a guy. Yeah. Never. Yeah. Now, him, he likes a toilet seat all the way covered. Yeah. I've mm -hmm. never complained about, about that it lift. Being, yes. mm. So, he's of recent, it has become a, a thing. thing. Hmm. It came, and I'm going through a certain process in my life yeah. where I'm trying to be better. Hmm. So I said, I, let me let me let it pass. But I quarreled inside. Yes, like I, I sent him a message. I said, no, that's not the way they talk. But the true thing that was really disturbing me was that for 10 years. I've never complained. I've never yeah. told you. You hear about women complaining about their men and lift it. But for 10 years I've come, gotten my cut tissue, either clean, clean yes. or you understand. Yes. And I have been kawa. Yeah. How dare you mm -hmm. start Make in the 12th year of our marriage? <laughs> and it's, and you can't. <laughs> Is that marriage so interesting? He came, he said it. I was seated. I said, Mr. Moon. Have a seat. <laughs> For ten years, I have never complained about. It. But yeah. and then yeah. I just do one liner. Uh, 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 this one, one you are, you are. I have get paragraph. So, sir, <laughs> for the luxury of ten years, you will give me ten, ten more years. More years. Okay. Let's be fair. Let's balance the scale. Let's balance the scale. An imbalance scale. Yeah, what was his counter offer? He said, have a good day. <laughs> <laughs> that, that is Mari Mulondo's way of conceding. <laughs> oh, Lord. That's, 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 yeah. Yeah. I have yeah. nothing more to say. Yeah. Okay, just give us like just two quick, two, two. When you misrepresent me, mm. which will happen literally every day. Yes, yes. 
life. Yeah. Yeah, but me, I live, I live in a life of, of, of constant triggers. triggers. Like, yeah. Hey, yeah. Hey. Yeah. And I'm available and I have the energy to engage. Yeah. To engage. Do not misrepresent yeah. me. Yeah. Do not misinterpret me. Yes. Do not misquote me. Mm. I will come to mm. you. Mm. Even now, you know. <laughs> I will not leave you. You'll never be the same. Uh, yeah. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. <laughs> I will. Oh my you. gosh. You misquote me. Hey. 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 What you say. Ah, yeah. Dear, I know that that's not what I say. Yeah. Dear, yeah. I am going to finish you. You'll, 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 you'll not know. You'll yeah. not know what no, I'm getting you. I'm getting triggered. Triggered as well. As well. <laughs> triggered me. <laughs> We really live a world of being triggered. triggered. Like you're triggered in every corner. Mm. But to add on all those, being misunderstood. Yeah, that's a mm. Like, just understand me. I've said this. It's just that this is this. Yeah. And you're blowing things out of proportion. You're saying things that don't even add any hope. I also have many, honestly. For, for, for being... <laughs> You said misunderstood, is it? Yeah. Both for romantic and also platonic? Or it's mostly for romantic? Both, but also oh. mostly for romantic. Because you, you know the one that triggers you the most is the oh, one you love the most. The most. <laughs> so the people that love you the most trigger you the most. Yeah. Your mother will trigger you the most. Yeah. Your husband true. will trigger you. A That's friend, true. a random person will we'll say something and you're like, and yeah, yeah, you don't true. know me. That's so true. yeah, we get, I get those triggers a lot, especially with him. Yeah. <laughs> so being misunderstood, misunderstood being lied to disrespect ah disrespect 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 like i'm not by having the, this disrespect is it's wide it's a very a uh, yes yeah. by the time mm. you're being dishonest yeah mm. you're disrespecting yeah. me if you're, you're lo looking to my own in yeah. Even have disrespect. Hey. disrespect is huge. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah. but mostly, yeah, being lied to, being misunderstood. Like he will listen to you, mm. not hear you, feel as if he's hearing you, but he has to misunderstood. To respond, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The what, what he wants to understand is what, like that collective. Yeah. Here. Selective yes. hearing, yes. Yes. yes, yes, that is what they choose to do. Oh my Pretty gosh, selective hearing. Selective hearing. <laughs> they'll so hear yeah. what they want to hear, yeah, yeah. yeah. and that means that's misunderstanding. Yeah. Yeah. So that's that's true. True. And out of um, like a paragraph that you say, like my husband has this thing where I can say so many things because I have thought about it in my head, I know my points, then he'll pick one car line, it's the one he'll respond to, and it will be a line that I don't even really care about. <laughs> That's, that's the moral of the story. <laughs> like, that's what you have picked. That's what you have picked. For nothing, that has said. And then. Oh, yeah. oh, wow. oh, oh, but we all know that all couples fight. Yeah. Sometimes yeah. healthily, sometimes unhealthily. We could just get a sneak peek over earlier years in the marriage or getting to know your spouses. How you managed this conflict thing, you know? How did it go? Because then you're. You're getting to. Yeah. It was horrible. When I fight, I fight the blood on the walls. I come for blood. I don't. I. It's. It, yeah. yeah. It, it was bad. It doesn't matter what it is. Mm. I come for blood, and it was. It breaks. Yeah. I'll use my tongue. Oh wow! And I, I know the power that it has, and I will break you. Mm. I will slice. No, I will. I. Oh no no no. Mm. Oh no. Never. Can't you know our people from there? From there. Oh oh, oh oh yeah. Oh oh that mm. physical. That yeah yeah yeah. Escalation policy. <laughs> yeah. As I, no. I want you to be aware that it that can happen. Possible. It is. But don't be deceived that I cannot <laughs> use what is close to me on you. If it came to it. If it came to it. <laughs> oh, no. I can't. But I've never really fought. But I know that I have the power to. So don't try because I know very well how it will happen. I think it's only yeah. thieves that have beaten up. Like those things of um, there was a time I don't know if I've ever shared how. No, you have not. I'm not. No, a man stole you my did. phone. Okay. And <laughs> I saw him and I ran after him. Wow. And he had given my phone to someone, so I was so pissed mm. that I've caught you, but you've given, you've my, given phone my phone to someone. Since I saw you, I'm going to beat you. I'm going to beat you now. Unfortunately, the police car was, <laughs> was, was like ahead. around. 
So they come, they see a scaffo, see a scaffo, see a scaffo. And meanwhile, men are supporting. Oh, mama, come here. Hey, where, why? Hey, but at this time you had finished beating. I was beating. You were beating. Manuela, you learn something new every day about these women. What? Then the police came. You are afraid. I was not afraid. I got afraid when I saw the police. So when the police came, they were like, what is happening? What's going on? So they get the man. Now, of course, in that scaffold, I feel like also, you, Ugandans in general, we are angry people. That's so true. the one who you got angry with, they, yeah. they also joined. They also joined. Yeah. Yeah. So by the time they reached him, he was a bloody mess. Oh, my God. Now, immediately, police came. They all moved. Now, who was, who was the on one. the center? You, yes, madam. Really. Madam. You've what beaten happened? this man. Gotta meet people around like <laughs> the ones who are beating. The ones who are beating. <laughs> what? Uganda. They put the man. They put him in the in the back of the caravan because I said he stole my phone. They're like, where is your proof? I didn't have proof, but I knew I'd seen the man. Yeah. So I so they put me in the in the car. Who hmm. held me properly to me. and took me to CPS. I was like, my God, why is it why that I like fighting? <laughs> <laughs> you started <laughs> thinking why about your life choices. Why did I do this? So they asked me, There's a, do you have somebody that we can call? I said, yes, I called my mom. So <laughs> I called my mom and said, mommy, I've, I've, I'm here. They're they, they going to arrest me because they told me to write a statement, blah, 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 blah. Now, when I was writing a statement, <laughs> the policeman who had gone in the Kavangali with the other guy came back and announced that he had died. Ooh. What? That's like when I, I was just beating the what? What the were you using? Yeah, it was just a penis. I was kicking. That's all I was working on. Wow. Yeah, that's all. But I the rest know. of the rest blood, of the I don't blood. know where it was coming from. It was from the people angry help. people the around. The angry people around. Yeah. So now they come and they say, Madam, are you aware that you've killed someone? I said, you people, how did this escalate? It was a small phone. <laughs> and I don't even have it. It was not oh even God. iPhone. I even have <laughs> <laughs> it. I found what I was. <laughs> so I don't, I don't even know how far true it is. So anyway, yeah, they the tell me. The, the, I don't know how far true yeah. it is, but mm -hmm. because you know, it's also our Ugandan police, they like to scare yeah. you yeah. and leave you shaking so that you never do. So I said, then I, then they called my mother. They told her, so your daughter has killed someone. We need you to come into into police. So I don't know who she called. Okay. okay. And then they said, Madam, you can leave. So I don't know what happened from there. And that day I said, now I will not beat people with it's so much force. It's possible he didn't die. Yeah, yeah. It's, I feel, Are I you sharing like that I will not beat people with so much force? I will beat you with so much force. The force will just be to you. It will just be to you. It will just be to kill you. No, the time I was in a winner and a man squeezed my bum. I just did my hand backwards and squeezed his bones. You never do it again. <laughs> and you <laughs> all the in the room have all done that. I squeezed. <laughs> and you were close. You know how a winner is. Eh? You're so close to each other. So he was right next. I just groped. The man got out of the line. Banda go over mutala mumuleke mumuleke. He walked away. Mulalu, Mulalu, or your Tomuja, Tomuja Musa. I think I will go next. So mine wants it after yours. Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 I am still in baby class. I just killed him. Yeah. 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 That's why I said, let me come uh, because I'll be in the baby <laughs> class. Yeah. <laughs> Conflict oh, wow. in, um, in the earlier days. One, as I said, I come from a family of people who communicate. Mm. Anyone who knows OJ, that man doesn't have many words. Yeah, mm. So now me, I be wanting to say the many words. Mm. But he's not he's joining not me in the many words. Mm. So oh, I, I used to do like this. <laughs> <laughs> we are fighting. We are fighting. The, the, the punching, no? This punching. And he's yeah. tall. Then he would grab your hand and, and yeah, say what? And yeah, he's tall. And he did it. You already know the thing. And then he would grab you and... Okay, but you know I can break you. <laughs> I'm there, I'm looking for you, and then it's like, but you know, I can try to break you. <laughs> oh, you. Oh, Lord. Uh, uh, yeah, I would, I would be fighting alone. Oh. Yeah, so, we, we, I mean, communication would definitely was, was our way then, mm. but when communication would fail, I, I tried like maybe two, three, two, three times. That one. 
when that one <laughs> failed, <laughs> Panange, <laughs> God forgive me, but when I tell this couple, see, I notice other people also do it, so mm -hmm. let's go ahead. <laughs> so one time, I looked, I said, but eh. He had come back very way high. What? Hi, baby. How are you? Switching on the lights. Ah. He blacks out. And yet, me, I had my things on my heart. That I got men like those things. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> like, I was like 3 a.m. Like yeah. yeah. mm -hmm. He and started a conversation. conversation. <laughs> <laughs> but you, you, you can pray. also let your friend have their conversation okay. at 3 a.m. <laughs> After all, when they come back at 3 a.m., uh -huh. he also comes banging Kabozi. Yeah. Hi, babe. Yeah. How are you, man? Yeah. I, it was a crazy <laughs> night. Can you imagine sun so then I Yet I hadn't finished my cabozi. Oh. I said, babes, please wake up. Puchi, wake up. OJ, wake, wake up. Mm. I went to the bathroom. In fact, I went outside. I looked for a basin. I went to the bathroom. I sat and watched this basin getting full. <laughs> when it became full, I carried it to the room. And you I poured it, it on the him. bed with him. <laughs> he said, no, this is me. He's like, I, I can kill you. I said, you'll kill me after we have finished talking. <laughs> <laughs> we need to talk. So oh we, we talked. To talk. And after talking, you had a wet bed. We had nowhere to <laughs> sleep. <laughs> but you think about your actions. I tell her how. But I'm a new yes, I, I, I needed us to talk. Okay. But now we finished talking. Mm -hmm. Then we didn't have a bed. Then said, "Now, babes, what are we going to do?" Then I said, "We sleep in that sofa." And then we made love. <laughs> so it become mm -hmm. okay after that. You yeah. people, you had colorful I love lives. Like, eh. Yeah, but you people, these people do this, don't yeah, they? they really do yeah, this. because the place where we were living, they were like petty, petty thieves. So twice I witnessed my mom drag out men who had come to steal her money from her restaurant. Yeah, those oh. petty, petty thieves. Out of my place! Pa, 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 pa. <laughs> she would really, that's cheek. Yeah? The first time we were younger, that guy had come with a pistol these four, four black things yeah, yeah. she pulled it out of him <laughs> out of my restaurant <laughs> the second time was uh these book guys over around the area mm. who was a known car thief so he had come i think he stole her two clothes off the wire she said oh. you eh? i'll put pump sense into your head pa, 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 pa. Yeah. but when we were dating before we got married i used to fight <laughs> with my husband you guys about pretty much everything. everything. Communication, small, small communication that is not aligned. Fight. Yeah. You didn't tell me. Oh my God, if you could have just told me. <laughs> I don't know how we survived hitting each other. Anyway, you do not start hitting me. We have to talk. I mean, understand me, but we used to. It was unhealthy. Mm -hmm. I'm glad we, I don't know how we resolved, resolved this, yeah. but we would fight like every other time yeah you just both matured i yeah. guess yeah. i guess yeah. you get you also get tired yeah. like, you people we we fight. Fight. what was yeah. this fight about yeah. Not even, when you not know what it's about it. even when you know what it's about. Now, first, did we have a bed for two weeks? Ah, <laughs> Laba. You, you, you. <laughs> like, you don't even care about the consequences. No, of course not at that moment. Are you thinking? Yeah. You know? Know. Yeah, for me, I'll, I'll speak on the side of uh, a, a chunk of my life. I was in situationships, not really relationships. Mm. And I, I remember, and I'm just bringing this to light because I want people to understand that you can be in a relationship and you're there in it by yourself. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. me, I've always really been the the the, the, the source of the, trouble. Of trouble. <laughs> you don't see you. You don't say. And then and then like I had no business being in relationships. So the other people, for them it was like a relationship. For me, I'm, like, I'm just know. liking the packs of the relationship, mm, the, butterfly. the butterflies. But I, I don't want the, the work mm, that it comes with easy. or the yeah. effort. I don't, I'm, I'm my own person. I want yeah. to do what I want to do. I don't want my independence to ever be compromised. Mm. These things that we're having a conversation, let's discuss. Mm. Uh, I don't want me. I just want to do my own things. <laughs> yeah. And then I always found myself um, in these relationships with uh, sensitive people, anxious, mm. anxious attachers. Yeah. Yeah. But still, I was going to do my own things Barbie. anyway. Yeah. Mm. Now, yeah. So what I would do, me, I was like real gaslighter. Mm. That English that Ben has, 
Mm. I would use it to manipulate them into questioning even their reasoning. <laughs> yeah. Like even the thing that they've <laughs> accused me of. They become by the time we are done, they are the I'm the victim. Yes. I'm the victim. <laughs> I remember like one of the things that I remember so well is like me I, I like to go out and have a good time mm. and then of course because I'm with an anxious attacher mm. they some, want to know where I am what mm. I'm doing me I don't answer that question you where, are you, where are you who are you, who do you think okay. you are <laughs> <laughs> to, ask, to ask me I'm going to do you think where I am and seven. what I'm doing uh -huh. <laughs> Some I'll just go out randomly, but I would prepare my defense Before. beforehand. Mm. Is that best way to fight? One of the things I would do in my preparation, there was always someone near me mm. who I, I would say, now you call this number and, and, and just call and if they call back, don't pick up, don't pick oh, up. Dear. I would give them the number of the, of the dude. Oh, the dude yeah. yeah, they call the dude. Then I'm using that as defense later. But, but I even try to, to call <laughs> my phone blacked out. Wow. Because I know you're going to call me this later. Cheek. But I would, uh, wow. then I would switch off the phone. This is uh, yeah. this, this yeah. this this honest woman. Honesty, 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 but alas. Yeah. 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 And that's yeah. why I, I, I'm, I'm saying I, I've never that's carried it. this into relationships with people that I actually do like. Yeah. Yeah. But, and that's why I'm saying like you need to be careful. The conflicts that sometimes you're having, are maybe because those people you're in the relationship, yeah, you're in a relationship alone yeah. you're, there are men who, and women who are just out there for good time yeah. and you're providing some of the benefits that they want yeah. and they are happy with wacky. that yeah so we would reach a point and then now i'm at home and then maybe he comes and visits and then he says now I'm, i know he's going to quarrel about this about that i would prepare until i went to a man's heart yeah. steal yeah. his food yeah. Now I prepared a banquet. I come. Um, and the men don't they like small, small sex? Yeah, they, Just small, small sex. Yeah, yeah. Hey. Food and sex. Food and food. food. Sex. But I know he's going to come and ask That's eventually. Right. Yeah. So, but at least now you've come and got is a soft landing. Yeah. Now, when by the time you start asking, now I'm already started. By the way, babe, I even sent you a message. Please note, I'll send a message when my data is off. So it doesn't reach him, but it's on my phone. I've wow. sent a message saying, by the way, I'm here with my girls, with ABCD. But now, if you have some free time, please pass I by. I yes. Please pass by and join us. I miss you so much. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> this honest. You know, when you're in that type of relationship. Yeah. Then, the then I'll click send. Then the data is off. So by the time I reach, then I'm like, honey, I didn't even realize. I didn't realize. See, I sent you the message. It just didn't go. It just didn't go. No, and see the time I sent it. Hey. Yeah, so now because, because now my date I also feel like you're giving people nuggets. <laughs> <laughs> Why do I do? These people oh my god, I need to They, they, they are them. doing them. Some that don't no, know. No, they, they, they are lying. <coughs> they are black. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. But anyway, <laughs> you're, you're, you're. So I'll, now I like we reach there and then it's like, oh, okay. And the message would be really nice. And I have my words. I'm like, oh, I really miss you. Then I then I call. I put a Kamis call on, on, on WhatsApp, mm. but the data and it's off. Yeah. Yeah, it's not there. Yeah. So I, I even called you, and like I was really missing, I wanted to be with you. I even I missed call on our number. number. I even used somebody else's phone to call you. Imagine. But you didn't pick. <laughs> he didn't pick. He didn't know that fucking number. It's, it's <laughs> 1 a.m. in the morning. <laughs> Why is he picking numbers from random so, people? At the end of the yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> now I reach there. Then, oh then after I would conclude. My conclusion always. You know, men like to, men like to do things their own things, right? Mm -hmm. It's just that when they find themselves with a woman who's like them, now they, it becomes a problem for you. That one when you do it. So now I'm explaining to you. But but honestly, would you prefer a relationship where everybody can do what they want? Babe, I love you. You need to understand that. I'll, I can't do anything to you. Why would I? I would just leave you. If I didn't want to be here, I would have gone. I wouldn't be here. <laughs> so, by the time we are done, uh, man that's is that's even true. saying, you know what, I can't believe love has to have a foundation of trust. Yeah. How can you not trust me? <laughs> so what are we doing here? If you well, can't trust me, then that's it. It's okay. If you want I to feel like you were me. trying to go to Lyra, but you went through Masaka. <laughs> right? Then you, 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 you first even went... Why, <laughs> why? why are you going even to Lyra? Why? <laughs> 
why should they give or rather i dated a christian boy son of israel for some and three weeks and when he when i when he didn't pick my when i didn't pick his call the next day i he asked me but you, should, you always have a phone you should pick i said but whatever even adam in the bible when he ate the fruit when oh. god called him he also hid <laughs> if, if someone can hide from the omnipresent all loving all powerful god who are you, who are you? <laughs> for me the unhealthy was on the fact that i really used to gaslight like and i'll just leave it and i think people are not expecting that much from women yeah. so it doesn't come off doesn't, like you're yeah. gaslighting it's mostly yeah. men are the bigger gaslighters, uh, gaslighters yeah. but yeah. there are women uh, you know, be, careful, be careful yeah. those relationships you're in yeah. some of them they are not in people are not in them with you yeah. that's true <laughs> i think for me i used to take on the victim approach uh, a lot okay. i would always go when i am burdened so it's not a thing of Oh, we are going to talk and resolve a thing. I'm coming to you with my thing because you have said something or you have not said something or not done something and it has hurt me. So I would already approach it from a point of I am hurt, I am wounded. So say something that will validate me or that will take away the pain. So the beginning years were very tearful. Okay, mm, for me. Because you are crying. I was crying. Victim. I'm like, I'm the victim here. Yeah, you said something. And now you have even changed things. Now I'm no longer Now you didn't even say it well. <laughs> you didn't even say it well. Then you didn't even, you didn't hug me the way I hoped you were going to hug me. So now I'm so sad. <laughs> <laughs> you guys. I was always a victim. Yeah. Right, Evio? You know? And then I would be, I think... I, I really am sensitive and I'm very proud of it now. I wear it proud. Mm -hmm. But now I'm learning to, to manage it. To manage yeah, I'm, I don't respond to all my sensitivities. Yeah. But in the beginning, oh my gosh, the way he spoke, the way he did this, his tone, what he didn't do, what he did do, what, like expectations, all that stuff, like we'd have to talk about all of it. Yeah. <laughs> I think I talked to him out. He was like, child. Wow. Yeah. Can we not have another conversation? Yeah. And then for me, because I had read all these marriage articles, you have to talk about your problems. Yeah. Oh, wow. So sit down, we're going to talk about this thing. And we will yes. finish it tonight. <laughs> and and we don't go to bed early. Yeah. So we must finish it tonight. And we must. Yeah. So, and then, of course, using tears, I quickly realized that when I men do not respond to tears. I don't know if you're men. I was do. curious how I would see a man like Ben. Mm. How is he responding to that? By the way, zero empathy, zero. Uh, like, he would just be there. Yeah. Not knowing what to do with tears. Like, what I'll feel. Yes, yeah, like, right. okay. So. We're an old woman. And yet you kept doing it. I kept Did doing it. I kept doing it. Eventually, I would hide now. I would yeah, go to the bathroom. I first cry. Oh, yeah, they don't come on cue. They come out of the feeling. Yes, like, if he yes, has said something yes, and it has yes, even made me more upset. Yes, yes. So, I would do my tears away. And then, I would try and compose myself and get through a conversation without crying. Ah, when I manage to do that, I say, Rachel, growth. Ah, oh, growth. Oh, what is happening? Oh, We're not crying anymore. <laughs> Yeah, so for me, it was just approaching conversations with a victim mentality. Yeah. And then knowing that my husband is always in the room. For me, oh, you're a good nice. girl. Yeah. yeah. So, but you know, it's so interesting. You've talked about tears. And I was like, mm, I used to have tears. Mm. Where did they go? Where because they go? I have them in abundance. <laughs> I, they, are not, I'm not, they are not too far off. Yeah. And I remember, like, I think in the earlier, before I became hostile, yeah. earlier... I used to cry. Yes. yes, I used to cry from the pain because I didn't understand it. I didn't yeah. understand like why are we fighting? Some like we are in so love. Much. Like yeah. why would we be fighting? Like why would you do that to me? You know? And so yeah. I would cry a lot and cry a lot and cry a lot and cry a lot. And Brian has no patience. So it wasn't that he even had no feeling. He just told me, "Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! You are not a child. <laughs> just, just stop it. Okay? Mm. I can't have a conversation with you when you also are crying. crying. So just stop." Stop it. Just stop crying. When you want to talk to me, come when you've finished crying. And I see him do that like with Bianca. Yeah. Like, I, 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 don't, I don't hear when you're crying. Then yeah. just stop it. Stop it. So, and I remember I got, and then I got hurt that I was being told don't cry. Yes. yes. I was. I cried. 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 Then the one who came out, it's like I came out of tears. They were a C. Then yeah. the warrior yeah. in yeah. me Thank came you. out I don't know who is worse. Swing. The, the tears or the worry? I, I'm, no, I'm not. I don't. 
<laughs> they were all bad. They were all bad. They were all bad. Because even me, I went through that phase. They are all bad. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now bad. that we've spoken about our the toxic ways that we used to navigate conflict, maybe we can discuss. We can talk about what are what tools are we now employing to argue better and navigate conflict healthier in our romantic relationships. I think the best gift that you could have from the Holy Spirit is the gift of self-control. Yeah. Self-control. Yeah. Self-control. Yeah. If you cannot control yourself, you end up fighting at a party, at people's yeah. weddings. Yeah. <laughs> you know, they've invited you for a wedding, and before you know it, we are seeing a couple fighting in a corner because you can't control your emotions. Yeah. So um, control yourself with, with in, the, in the midst of your children. I mean, you, you can't be fighting. And we've seen couples. Yeah. I mean, a spark has come a trigger. They don't care whether the kids are there or not. Pa, 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 pa. Yeah. Fights. Yeah. yeah, so I think self-control is uh, really sure. powerful. Self-control helps you not only with controlling um, how to handle your conflict. Self-control is a gift that not only helps you um, you know, navigate better conflict resolution. It will help you learn how to eat better. I mean, if you don't have self-control, overall areas of your life, you are bound, you're bound to, to suffer. Yeah. yeah? Someone was telling me that gift is what helps you stop <laughs> eating, overeating. Yeah. You who wants to lose weight. Mm -hmm. It's what helps you, <laughs> you know, yeah. self-control. Yeah, <laughs> we are shaking. Yeah? Even as we shake our own tables, then we come back on. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, so self-control. I think one of the game changers for me, because I mentioned that I, I took on a victim approach, which meant mm. that my husband was constantly in the wrong, was... I'm sorry, please allow me to quote a scripture. There's a scripture in the Bible that talks about, it says, in your interactions with one another, um, take on the mind of Christ or have the mind of Christ. And so I found that that scripture changed how I saw Ben. I, I, I got more grace and empathy for him because I thought to myself, how was Christ relating with people? And Christ sat with all sorts of people. He yeah. sat with the yeah. worst of the worst, you know, the yeah. kind, the scum of the earth, according to human beings. And if he was able to interact with them, me, small, small, my husband has not done what? Surely, you know, and, and there are other things that he's doing. So that, uh, there was a very big shift in the way I started to see my husband. And the things that he was doing no longer bothered me as, as much. much. Yeah. And just to um, Rosette's point on self-control and discernment, because I feel like they sort of go hand in hand, is... You know how they keep saying at weddings, choose your battles? Yes. When a thing happens, like, we don't have to get into it there and then. Yes. Yeah, like, I, I'll usually take some time, go back, reflect. Is this thing going to matter mm, three later. months from today, five yeah. months from today? Is it worth, Is it worth it? getting into it? Then if I weigh and I'm like, mm, it's making me feel some type of way, it's maybe changing how I feel about him, then let's get into it. But okay, now you're going to get into it. What are you going to say? How are you going to approach it? Have you considered his point of view? Have you considered that maybe the way you spoke to him triggered something in him? So just having those multiple conversations with, I was at the personal, rather the women's getaway yesterday and someone talked about having a personal board of directors. Mm -hmm. Now I'm talking about an internal board of directors where I sit back with myself and the Holy Spirit and I say, okay, if I say this, how do you think he's going to feel about it? Yeah. He'll be like, mm, I think that's a bit arrogant. Maybe just tone it down a bit. I'm like, okay, let me find better words too. So I go through that process before I approach to have a conversation. Yeah. And then, of course, the other thing is having um, a good sounding board. Of recent, in like the past maybe two or three years, there's a, a guy friend of mine, very spiritual man, that I always call and I'm like, so... Ben has done a thing. Because he's a guy, I feel like he's going to offer me a guy perspective. Oh, so you can fight. So he, yeah, so like he's, the, he's like, if you say it like this, you are going to trigger this kind of response. So I find that it's very easy. And it, it's some, he's a close friend to Ben as well, and he respects him. So I, I have no problem reaching out and saying, so we've had this argument about this thing. What's your take on it? And he's going to give me both a you know, human physical response. And then 
from the point of like God, because faith is important to me, like this, these are the kind of implications that would come from having a conversation. Like, so this is how you should approach it, or maybe first pray about it. Mm -hmm. And so for me, those are some of the tools that I have employed. But ultimately, here I had to sh it ha like it had to be like a major, major shift. When we we started going through, you know, those Before five, the, six, seven years, yeah. one thing my dad. We don't know them. <laughs> Okay, yeah. <laughs> now if I add on. But well, yeah, during, uh, during those years, uh, what my dad mentioned, it's good that you've mentioned support mm. from outside. He said he noticed that a lot of times, because my friends were not married, yeah. but his friends were. And he said mm. that with this generation, you, you don't seem to come together to better each other mm. beyond oh. going out, having a party yes. and everything. Yes. But your close friends don't even know where they can start to assist. Mm. So when you have a problem, it's just you guys. Unlike those days yeah. where they it had a, a friend. Yes. And the friend you go to is usually a friend of your of husband. Your husband. Yes. So you're not taking information outside yes. of the, yes. the core, the inner core. Now that you mentioned that, um, I, uh, a lot of times people uh, tell me that, oh, Angie, you only say the nicest things mm. about OJ. And I, I, I would like to tell people out there that we've, we've had our struggles. Mm. We've had our struggles. But when you've spent almost a lifetime with someone, mm -hmm. if you don't get to that point where this person is your friend, your best yeah. friend, your king, your confidant, your, you know, then, then there's seriously yeah, a problem you with, you know, with the foundation of your relationship. Yeah. But back to that, what I noticed, especially in the beginning, is because I came from a family that used to discuss things, then my character generally would love to avoid conflict. This is true. In the process of avoiding conflict, what would happen is, remember people pleasing? Mm. I would always go with what would be okay with the other, the other the person. person. Yes. Thank yes. you. Peace. What happens is, I know a lot of people are like, ah, just let it go. Mm. Don't. Mm. Talk about it then. Yeah. And maybe they'll let go of you after two years rather than 20 years yeah. of marriage. Mm. So once you speak, but when you don't, what happened is I just kept taking it in, taking it in, taking it, as you all know me. Yeah. The response, a volcano is nothing Ooh, in yeah. comparison. Yes. Because I have kept it and because I'm telling myself, we are doing this because we love each other. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. So you wake up one day at 3 a.m. and think it would be a fantastic idea to get a whole <laughs> person. <laughs> but that's what comes from not being able to communicate. Yeah. And then you realize, like us guys who've done the miles, is people never change. Mm. Like OJ will never be the kind of communicator I want yeah. him to be. But we have slowly understood how to. Because of my character, when I'm in pain, I don't, I, I'm not very coherent. Mm. Me and you both. You know? Yeah. The point is there. Yeah. But I'm here, the way, the way it's being, because there are many things that have been bottling. So I realize now, if I take out one thing, and I deal with that one. Mm. Then, and, but when there are many, and because I have stored them, then it I'm not really making. Yeah. So you, you just yeah. start nagging or being petty. Mm. So yeah. after some years, of course now you've grown, you've realized, by the way, let me tell you another thing, guys, about conflict. You will get exhausted. Oh, yeah. You get tired. Yeah. You see, Manuela was like, I have yeah. energy. It's like, you whoa. Get tired. There, is, there is a way the person you love the most will drain right. you the living daylights out of you. i have been there. and after draining you in the relationship <laughs> you drain the living daylights out of you, <laughs> you him after like they this? drain you there then it drains all the other faucets in your life yes. as a mother as a this as a yes. this as a this yes. there are days i'd wake up we've had an argument and i can barely get up to go to work oh dear then i was like or you get to work and maybe some, lucky enough, by the time now I started working, mm. I didn't have that indirect aggression where I can bring from home. Mm. You've seen women who come to work with their it out on, issues. Yeah. So what did we decide to do? We realize we'll never be the same tribe, we'll never be the same height, we'll mm. never be the same age. Yeah. Never. 
So how about we find ways? The other day you were asking me, what are you rushing off to do? Yeah. So now we have something called warm or weekly love sessions. Aww. And during weekly love sessions, we're not making Okay, sometimes we make love, mm. <laughs> but <laughs> <laughs> you people, oh, making gee. love is, is a thing that people don't talk about, but that is the so core of too. communication in a marriage, mm. especially for a man. Mm. So anyway, during the weekly love sessions mm. is we sit and talk. Mm. So the things that have hurt me during the week, they don't go in two, three months. Yes. We you discuss in that week. Mm -hmm. And then we are not allowed to speak about anything that we haven't written down. Oh, I like that. Hey, the remarkable is helping. So when you write down on Monday, Tuesday, can I imagine I told him yeah, that I... But by Thursday, Friday, yeah. you're like, no, you can't, no, we can no, remove, we can remove it. it. So cool. this, yeah, we can press better. Uh -huh. This one did really that. It is not so. It's not too bad. It's anyway. not too Even now he did like this. He mm. gave, so, yeah. gave me money. Uh -huh. okay. And in the, uh, by the also, there's a certain state where you reach, ladies and gentlemen, mm. that money ceases to be a thing to mm. calm you down. Yeah. I don't know if if any, that imagine much. that stage, you will get to it <laughs> whereby you're like, even when you see the money, you're like, this is very disrespectful. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, mm. it's, it's disrespectful, but the money is currency. <laughs> it works. I'm Tomorrow, <laughs> it's disrespectful, <laughs> but it can do things for me. Okay. So I'll put it in the past. Now let's go. Yeah, to one, two, three, yeah. ten, five, fifteen, twenty yeah. years. Uh, times, uh, it's okay. <laughs> and yeah, we will. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes. So what does that, those sessions, what they do? One, you write down your things. Two, I'm able to tell him exactly what I feel without becoming emotional. Yes. And then he understands. These days it's like, madam, this, as for APPG, is the, is the reason why That's this right thing here. started. I love Because I realized I would be, I'm so trying to say my point. Place. Then halfway through, when it fails, either I become angry or I just shout, I'm like, let's leave it alone. But oh. now I get into our weekly meetings with no more than three points. Yeah. Yeah. And mm -hmm. all my three points are hard. Yeah. And then he's like, okay, baby, this one, let's give it two weeks. This one, I can work on it now. Yeah. This one, maybe let's give it oh, a year. That's so sweet. I, like I, I would like to borrow that idea. May For, I? Sure. For sure. I asked sure. myself, she was dropping me. I was like, with Zoom, I need to be on yeah. time. Yeah. Like oh, uh -huh. And yeah. with... Yeah. Was I was excited. Yeah. Oh, she was going. Oh, oh, yeah. 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 What's happening? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. And another big... Why I keep talking about, once again, love making is another way of, you know, ensuring that conflict doesn't get to that extent. Mm. I used to maybe say I don't like certain things about him. When we now finally sat and spoke he, before this session is that he told me that, for example, always being the one to initiate love making was his biggest problem. Mm. Oh, okay. He was always, he was always initiating. Okay. And little did he know that I enjoy it as much but, but it's but just as, annoying. yeah, yeah. then I realize if this is the thing that he uses to communicate, then how about yeah. I start initiate? Even that day I was rushing away to get <gasps> ah, Yeah, conflicts right. resolved. <laughs> Yes. Well, I, I want to go because I know you what you're going to end with is powerful. Okay. So let me let me finish. Answer that one in, in working working relationships. Yeah. <laughs> so now that I'm in a healthy relationship, and I really 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 want it, to, I really really want it to work. You know, I, I remember. I remember. Oh, okay, okay, okay. 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 I've never seen you blush like that. <laughs> As I was saying, <laughs> because my mom, I remember during my separation, my mom told me something strong. She told me, Pumla, there are people who have to go through the mileage. You know how Angie's always saying, us who have done that time? So she always says that in marriage, there are people who get take 10 years to reach certain points. Yeah. There are others who take 20 to reach those points. Yeah. But guess what? 
they are those who take two months. Yeah. True. Oh, yeah. Or a year. Actually, for her, I remember her telling me that all you need is one year with your person consistently. Yeah. yeah. And then now you can start doing the work. Yeah. And she looked at me and she said, and I, I, after that, I had always said in my mind, mm. I never ever want to sit somewhere and say, after me who has done the mileage, no. I want to speak from a point where after two years, I was already where some people are after 20 years. Mm. Always. Mm. Yeah. And I believe it is possible. Yeah. I do believe it is possible. Yeah. And I, I, I do. And I do so because, like for me personally, because my training has been in many relationships. Mm. Oh. So I have done the training. Yeah. Many in that, situations. Done the time. I've done that time. So where someone can call it 10 them. years, I, well, that is, I can, that you, is I can true never true. be there. I can't control the other person. That I can never true. do. I can only do what I can do. Mm. So I've seen that while somebody else might have been in a relationship for 10 years, studying what works and what doesn't for 10 years, me who has been in situationships, six, seven of them, I'm la I've learned the same lessons. Yeah. Yeah. So I can yeah. enter a relationship that I really, really want and make it work in a much shorter time yeah. and go through all the headache that other people struggle with. I don't want to go through it. So I have really put in that a lot of effort. Yeah. I do a lot of reading. I do a lot of consulting. Yeah. I go for therapy, guys. Sometimes I even go for couples therapy by myself. Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just so that I'm aware of what are the possibilities, what can happen, and how can I navigate around yeah. those things. Mm -hmm. And I remember, um, I remember a, a psychologist actually gave me a book, lent me a book. Mm -hmm. It was called uh, Essential Conversations for a Lifetime of Love, mm -hmm. written by uh, Dr. John Gottman. He's a psychologist. Mm -hmm. And when I read through the book, like it was talking about, I was excited about this topic because he was talking about conflicts in relationships. Okay. So the book, he has written quite a number of books, but this one, he's a, a psychologist, but mostly a couples therapist. So he, d he designed a lab in the mm. 1980s, a love lab, mm. where he put couples together mm -hmm. to interact, mm -hmm. just to interact and observe them. Okay. So he did studies over decades mm. to see how couples interact and how, and then he did a study particularly on managing conflict. Mm. And something that was so apparent, he said that you can predict the outcome of a conversation 96% mm. of the time, depending on how that conversation started in the first yeah. three minutes. Yeah. He yeah. said with 96% accuracy. Wow. So how you start an argument largely influences the rest of the argument, how yeah. the conversation ends. Yeah. So he brought, and out of that whole study, like, for, and he even did follow up, these are now follow up sessions with these same people, yeah. the same couples. Yeah. And this is across different, so these are people who are across all social classes, all uh, styles of life. Mm -hmm. And he said, it's the same. The one who is the poorest person and the richest person, yes. when it comes to conflict, it's the same. Yes. They're just arguing about different things. Yeah. But it's usually the same conflict. And I, he said that um, the people whose conversations would end well, whose arguments or disagreements or conversations would end well, would start with what they have. He said they're soft stats and hard stats. The hard stats mm -hmm. being cr people who start by criticizing. criticizing. You do, why don't you put the toilet seat down? Mm, yeah. mm. Immediately criticizing. Mm, people mm. who are defensive, the way how I was, and I was just like building up a defense wall. Someone yeah. tells you something, instead of taking responsibility, you're now saying, defending why I did what I did. Yeah. Then there is yeah. contempt which is mostly what Angie was talking about, when someone's talking in a condescending manner, yeah. and yeah. then they stonewalling. People who, like someone brings up something, and immediately you say, that's it, I'm not doing this I'm anymore. Doing this. Yeah. yeah. And then he said they were the soft starts. Yeah. Mm. So now I look through the soft starts, and of course when you look through, you pick what you can, app what, what applies in you, what can work for you. Yeah. And for me, the one that I picked that has really, I swear to you, helped me so much. I can even stand here and say, I don't think I've had a real conflict with my partner in a year. Mm. Yeah. out of the, the reading, the, uh, learning yeah. how to, you know, and the first one really was read the room. Mm. A man comes back at 3 a.m. and then you want to have a conversation. Yes. No, please. Yeah. Read the room yes. and then read it, your energy, both yours and, and his. his. Mm -hmm. Is it the right time? Is it the right mood? Is it the right yeah. energy? Yeah. And then practice self-control. Yeah. If you find that there is, it is a no to any of those things, yeah. Practice self-control. Yeah. Wait. 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 The time, will yeah. the time will always come. Unless you don't want a lifetime with this person. Yeah, I think that's true. Yeah. True. If, you yeah. Are, if, you, if you're there and playing, then yeah. there. Yeah. Carry. But if you're in a lifetime, this is your lifetime partner, that time will come. Practice yeah. self-control, yeah. it will come. After reading the room, when now you've ticked the boxes, it's the right route, some right yeah. mood, right energy, everybody, it's mm. the right time and place, yes. then communicate your feelings directly. 
So he said that soft starts, there were a package of three. And the first one was, say, start every conversation with, I feel. And when you say, I feel, add on a feeling word. If you ever say, I feel like, stop yourself. Mm -hmm. Because I feel like often ends up in critique. critique yeah. mm. It means I feel like you don't, you're not hearing me. Mm. I feel like you're not understanding me. I feel like you're not being fair. Mm. I feel, yeah, it sends, uh -huh. so the other person usually responds defensively. Yeah. When you say I feel, add it, the next word should be a feeling word. I feel sad, I feel hurt, I yeah. feel angry. Yeah. Communicate your feelings, don't express them. Mm. Expressing mm. being mm. crying, mm. expressing being <laughs> express That's like yeah. don't express, <laughs> say, and then after saying what you feel, now say the facts of what you feel yeah. happened mm. that led you to feel that mm. way. Mm. And explicitly, actually, he was saying, by the way, I don't want to say things about men, but men in their mind, they needed to speak quickly yes. and yes. precisely, precise. If you come with paragraphs, they've stopped listening yes. and you had three more points to yeah. give. Yeah. That's why they'll pick one. Yeah, they'll yeah. just pick the one. What they had in what they all that's what they had in all you were saying. So he said, pre just take the facts and state them precisely. Yeah. And then immediately after that, men are solution people. They, they, you don't talk to them to the, f just for listening sake. Yes. They want to give you solutions, yeah. but yeah. they would really rather, but you see, they don't know what, what to do. With you. And that is why sometimes you find yeah. these, these things going, escalating. Because now, okay, you've told me, now so what? now what? Yeah. It has to come from you. A this solution. is a solution. You start it. Mm. Otherwise, women like that thing of, Kali, if, if you loved me, you would have done this. You would have found a way. No. That doesn't yeah. work anywhere. No. It doesn't. Mm. You literally have to say, you made me feel sad. Yeah. This is the reason I felt sad about it. And the third, the this is, is the I bank. feel like this is what I need to do. The bank card. Yeah. 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 If only your solution is the bank card to make you feel better, state it, be honest. Yeah. But it has to be a sustainable solution. Yeah. Because yeah. that bank card one might run out. Mm, tomorrow, now, yeah. <laughs> it may run out tomorrow. Then now what is there? Mm. And yet if somebody, yeah, so he said those, so those were the soft starts. And he said after mentioning that, mm. then now have a real conversation. Say, okay, so what do you feel? You, like the person shouldn't ever feel like you're attacking them. Because yeah. men have a thing of, if I, I, they, they don't want to do things that are, men who love you, they don't want to do you wrong. Yeah. But if you keep on pointing out the things they are doing wrong, yeah, they, they feel helpless. attacked. They yeah. feel attacked. They get tired. And then now it just turns into, okay, I can't even do anything right anyway. Nothing yeah. to make you happy. Let me just do anything I do makes you yeah. happy. So then they start yeah, veering yeah. over yeah. that. Very mm. good. So that's so the, I think those are the things that he really mentioned that I'm really practicing in my mm. life now and I have seen that, 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 that I've fruit. literally seen the fruits yeah. wow. of practicing. And yeah. for me it doesn't take anything away from me. You know that things people can you. tell you and then you're struggling yeah. to yeah. do it. You're yeah. not happy, you're not fulfilled. Mm. But for me I feel we are so peaceful. Yeah. We mm. are there. It is and possible, yes. Yeah. And while I heard you speak, I'm like Mananga as if I'd read the book. Yeah. Because yeah. those are like <laughs> dark <laughs> nuggets. <laughs> That I use it. Until you see, yeah. you, you, you learn them over time. That's why yeah. I said I don't want time. I, I don't want that time, time of yeah. learning, of toiling and so struggling. You to. No. And so I want to. By the way, to in learn the way the, way the world is now, what we need to understand is that if there is a quick way, yeah. or somebody yeah. has already yeah. done it, why, why waste why time passing? is there has cried for three years. Mm. So what can't you want to cry? Yes. So what you cry for, for three for, months? For three months and move on. True. True. Someone has been there. True. Someone has been through the mud and done the work. Work, yeah. So you can talk to them. And I talk to, to, to couples a lot. And of course, there are many strategies don't work for me. But yeah. once I find one that works, Ha, you, I you hold squeeze it, I implement yeah. it. And this doesn't mean, by the way, because we can come back here two years from now and I say the relationship didn't work, then you say, Fire, 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 to act a certain way yeah. and yet it is for that's you a wrong yeah. that's a wrong approach, that's a wrong it, is, approach. it really is for yeah. you yeah. and i think for me that's the first strategy that i used yeah. this thing is not about brian no stop looking you. at brian mm. look at me look at me because i am contributing it takes to it actually does take two to tango, to tango. and half the time 
while I'm, I feel I'm, most of the times I'm 80%, 100% the cause of the fight, it took two to, to, to tango, yeah? And I can't do anything about how Brian reacts. Yeah. Yeah. But here are some of the uh, other tools that I learned. First of all, marriage is in stages. Mm. There's a stage that you will fight. Mm. It's not always going to be peaceful and good. Yeah. There's a certain True. stage when yeah. you're trying to navigate living with each other. Yeah. Yeah. And so that stage is called drama stage, where anything and everything your partner says mm. just Sends rubs you, you the wrong way. Yeah. Even their very existence yeah. on this earth. Someone said even the size He's of breathing their nose. The size yeah. of their nose. Yeah. Yeah. You know, all of those, the way they talk, yeah. the way they walk, yeah. the, way they, the way they eat. Everything. The way they, every, the way, why does he hold his phone like, like, like that? Why does he chew like why that? Why does he breathe why like does that? Why does he breathe like that? <laughs> Why is he even here? You know, like all of those things. And why did you choose that shot? You're like, Manak. So those things me? will cause you to fight. But guess what? Mm -hmm. It's a stage. And that stage, you're supposed to use it to help you to navigate mm -hmm. and to learn how to fight. That's the use of that stage. Mm -hmm. That you stage isn't dramatic, for you to yeah? say, I'm now being dramatic. Mm -hmm. It's not a stage to say, it means we can't. Be together. together. No, yeah. it is now we are fighting and conflict is usual. Mm. So how do we how do we fight? Mm. And so at that time it's important to learn your fighting style. Mm -hmm. mm. You I mean, we as an individual, yeah. you know, I, I always like those style styles. Yeah. You have a fighting style. There are some people that are skunks. Mm -hmm. Like when yeah. you touch them like this. Oh. And when it blows, it blows for everybody. For everyone. Yeah. Everybody. Even the skunk. Yeah, it's their <laughs> skunk fighters. Mm -hmm. It doesn't end with just inside the home. You fight with everybody Everyone. around yeah. you yeah. just because you fought with one yeah. person. Yeah. But then there are ostriches. Yeah. They'll deceive themselves that nothing is happening. They will bury their heads bury their head in the head. sand and just for, for deceive themselves that nothing's going on. There's Try nothing. to come back and, and, and bury it over and over and over again. But then there are bears. Bears destroy. Ferocious. They are ferocious. Mm. You don't hear. They don't hear. They don't listen. They they come to dis to destroy. Mm. And then they are they are, they are, they are hyenas. I'm a hyena. Mm. Uh -huh. Out for blood. Mm. Where? Well, you're just <laughs> smelling. Where's the opportunity? <laughs> I see the I blood, see and here. now we are going to, yeah, yeah. this is what <laughs> So when you know the kind of fighter that you, you are, are, you can now work backward. Mm. Usually people fight each other, but there's an issue yeah. in the middle. Yeah, 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 in the yeah. middle yeah? And it's best if you're both fighting that issue. issue yeah. And so it's important to ask yourself, so what exactly, what, what, what's the actual issue? What's the actual issue? Yeah. yeah. So to remove yourself from the fight, each of you, and then say, okay, so what's the issue? Focus that is, the, issue. that yeah. is what we should now be, that's Focus what we should be handling. Yeah. yeah. But now in my personal life with my husband, I've mm. found because while you know each other's styles, people are different. They have, mm. they've been raised differently. They, they have different experiences or not all bears fight the it's same, the same. Yeah, not true. all hyenas, hyenas fight, fight the same, same. Yeah. so you need to know your you need to know your hyena mm. you need to know your ostrich <laughs> you need to know your bear mm. and so while i'm a hyena brian is a huge bear mm. those two fight mm. yeah and so mm. i found that now we needed to work out i needed to work out how and and i realized that one of the things about brian is you need to read the room, read the time, read the... All of those mm. wonderful things that you talked about. Yeah. But my Brian, mm. that time comes like after six months. Mm. <laughs> you know? It's difficult yeah. to find it's that difficult time. difficult. Because it's like, can, I'm like, do, I, do we fight on Monday? In the morning or in the evening? <laughs> None of those is ever correct. Yeah. It isn't Monday, it isn't Tuesday. It's, when it's Monday, it's like, Manuel, other yeah, um, um, week has just begun. Why are we doing this? 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 So by the time the day, the, the week, week ends. weeks go by, mm. months go by, and and yet I found that when I allowed it to happen, so I started to write. I'm like, no, I'm not. I'm not doing this one. Mm. I'm not doing this. And after a while, you'd find that yeah, you you start to cross out certain things. You're just like, okay, you know, I just leave that one. Just leave that one. 
Brian has this thing like when we go away, when we are driving back, he starts reporting himself. So how do you think I'm doing as a husband? Yeah. Ah, I'm sure. <laughs> I, will, I have my notes part. Oh, so you're going to tell me one minute. Uh, so? <laughs> I, give, me oh, a, give me a minute. Yeah. It's there. Yeah. Such, yeah. such, yeah. No more. such, such, no more. such, such, no more. And you know what's interesting? Oh, no. He, he receives it. Because he's chosen so much he right time. time. Yeah. He's he's chosen chosen but I was time. struggling with that. Mm. I'm like, this is six months. Mm. I'm struggling. I have to wait until we've gone away. Mm. And then we've been together and then we've made sweet love. Even and after, and I come, even yeah. after love making would not be a good time. No, 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 we no we we've just seen. Mm. <laughs> we've just seen. We've now. Time. Oh, and he's now I starting. There was some episode where he joined the men and he was saying, this man, we can maybe have a good, good time. time. Yeah. Yeah. Nice but I've realized that after we've spent so money, good. we've had a good time, what, 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 he asks, so how are you, how is the marriage? Ah. So I'm like, thank you, no, 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 God, you are so good <laughs> to me. So I was really st struggling with the, the, the timing, the timing. The timing. Um, I, the other thing that I was struggling with was even when I was fighting or when I was telling him what was going on, he was, uh, he was still not hearing me. Mm -hmm. And then God gave me the gift of my sister, mm -hmm. Rosette. Mm -hmm. One day Rosette came and told me, Manuela, don't fight with many, many words. words. Mm -hmm. Just use one oh, line. Oh, so mm -hmm. now the time started to help me because I was like, now it gives me time to formulate my, my one line. line. Yeah. Yeah. So that now when he asks, I can say things like, honey, I'm really disturbed by the fact that you live like a single man, yet we are married. Ah, and that says ah, so many ah, other ah, things. Ah, yeah. Drops ah, my... Ah, drops so where? Yeah. How? How? When? What do you mean? Which? Why? Then I start that to find my ah. things. And I find that then it's... Hey, That's when okay. Because of the one line that, like that one, he said, it's clear, precise. it's logical, it's exactly. precise, it's direct, it has no, no. emotion. Mm. Yeah. So that really Again, helped. Again, like you said, you mm. had said earlier that men are more logical, they're, they're more logical creatures, while women are more very emotional. emotional. Yeah. Yeah. And people have got to understand that why men and women fight much more than within their genders mm. is because emotion and logic don't, don't come don't, together. They, yeah. they don't mix, they don't understand each other. other. They don't. So they don't somebody don't. either has to level up to a place of logic or well, then a person has, has to, to level up to a place of emotion yeah. Yeah. it's leveling up or leveling down uh, whatever <laughs> yeah, well, leveling definitely up. that's it they're definitely they're leveling up they are both valid yes. they are both valid yeah they are both valid yeah. Yeah. They're they're both yeah. definitely both so that's valid. that's that's what i found was important so now the thing for timing i prayed Mm. Oh. Yeah, I really, really prayed for this one because I had no control. Because yeah. sometimes I would be boiling and I'm, I'm just like, God, please talk to your son wherever mm. he is. I don't care Find where he is. Find a way to bring him here and let him want to talk to me about. So there are times he will just come and let himself bear for the fight. Yeah. Mm. Just lay himself there and then I'm able to express myself. And one thing that I've loved, which is for me my conclusion, is that to have conflict doesn't mean you agree. Yeah. 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 Just understand yeah. each other, yeah. where each of you come from. Mm. That's enough. Mm. Yeah. And conflict doesn't mean the relationship is not working. No, it doesn't. If anything, it's working. Because some people are so afraid of conflict. It's like, oh my, I remember that was my approach in the beginning. I was like, oh my gosh, we're fighting. Fight. The marriage, this is not working. Yes, yes. yes. That's, why I, that's why I said that fight is an opportunity to learn how to it's love, to love. fight. Yeah. How to fight with each other. Yeah. 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 Because you, you need to, you do need, you to, need fight. to fight. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If yeah. God says, come, let's reason together, that oh, means there is a reasoning mm -hmm. that needs to, to happen. happen. Yeah, yeah, just for one sure. more for me that has helped, especially for the spiritual people. Do mm. um, you know how we are all saying, don't sweat the small stuff. Mm. You don't have to indulge in every nitty gritty of mm. a fight. Sometimes it's the devil looking for you, looking That's for true. your marriage. Mm. Yes, yeah, so small fights will come up, discern, that yeah. some things you're not going to indulge, you're not going to, to give in. Give in. Mm. 
some things in the dynamic. So you see a, a petty fight coming for you, and you're just like, devil, get behind me. I'm, I'm not, like, I'm not dealing. Yeah. For me, that helps me sometimes. I don't have to, you know, get into it. To get dirty yeah. all true. the time. Yeah. True, true, true. true. Wow. But I, I, I'm here for the weekly love sessions. Those yeah. honey. Those, yeah. I also name. hope that we are creating, in there because I realize women always yeah. seem to, be the ones who have what to who are being hurt. Mm. So I need to talk to you. But I also hope that as women we are creating oh, enabling, enabling environments environment. for yes. these men to also to talk to us. Yes. In yes. the same so way. True. Because yes. women, when they tell them one thing, oh that's so true. <laughs> <laughs> they that's can do no wrong. So then they start bringing true. out for you, you did twenty you things. Hey. Me this one in thing. fact it was at this time <laughs> when we were here, you were seated like this in this corner. <laughs> no Pumla, you say such an important point. Yeah. And that's why I think it's important for us to first look within. 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 When you look within Bananga Ipo, you can find your rot. Yeah. You your rot that is, true. is so much yeah. that you're like, Omani, oh, let him be that there with his bad man as Kuanga, mine. Yeah. 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 Bambi, we are all rotten. Mm. Don't, you're That's not an angel. Okay. And that journey requires oh. time, time to time. accept that you are no for, yeah, for you Munange, <laughs> by the do you see that line you've taken i'm like wow i wish i wish we had known some of these but things remember when earlier you once, but, but because it, i've been in a marriage some of these things you can ne whatever they tell you yeah. it's not easy you have to have first been banned yes. uh -huh. to come and anti some like people they take over long, long, longer yeah. they be burning yeah. for long you're like i don't want to be that woman they say that one three divorce three uh, 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 marriage uh, number three. I think yeah. now number five. I guess stop shouting. Yeah. Oh, 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 <laughs> no, but I think that's a key one to be able to look inside and accept. It's accepting, accepting from inside, yeah. but to come out and accept true, for someone else true, that you true. are guilty of being part yes. of the problem. Mm. That's mm. a big one. That's and a big and many one. times they are telling you, your partner is telling you your things. Oh. You're just not hearing. You're just also you're refusing. not hearing. You're also misunderstanding. Mm. You are also yeah. those yes. things that you don't mm. want him to be. Yeah. You are being those things. You're As being well. defensive. You're yeah. Being, yeah. You are. Manipulative. Yeah. Ha. Ha. You're manipulating with Pume. <laughs> Maybe we'll have the men come through and and yeah. Of this, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh wait, I'm not ending the show. You are, yes, you are. Can you imagine? We've been waiting for you. I was just talking. No, we're not talking. We're not talking. When I bump my brain, yeah. I don't know. Not ending. My God, we don't get. could have a three-day conference on this yeah. conversation yes, yeah. uh, because ultimately it's one of the things that is causing marriages to break people get in and oh, yeah. they have conflict and some are shying away from it we are running away from conflict we don't want to address it or we are fighting poorly you know and we are not taking the time to do the inner work and evaluate ourselves to make sure that we ourselves are doing the right thing and being the right thing um, I saw something on YouTube recently, uh, one of those love experts was being asked, what's the best love advice you have ever received? And he said, write down a list of the things you'd want your partner to be and be those things. Yeah, I thought that was powerful. Yeah. So all the, th all the ways you think your husband or partner is fighting unfairly, write down the way you'd want him to behave and be that. Yeah, yeah. be that. Thank you so much for watching the show. Let us know how conflict resolution or conflict is happening in your relationship. Um, and would love to hear from you. Thank you once again to our partners, Zuri Luxury Hair, <laughs> Shades of Beauty for our face bits, Shoe Puzzle, and Fashion Episode for our lovely outfits. Until next time, we'd love from Bumpler. <laughs>